Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so happy you're here with me. I'm going to paint a sunflower. The bottom one is the one I'm going to use for a reference. I'll link this reference photo in this video's description. I'm going to paint it on a little four inch by four inch canvas. So I think it'll be fun and uh, easy to do. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, let's chat colors. And I just realized I need to write the word love. I just like doing that. This is a chalk pastel. Um, I have a link to Hippie Crafters chalk pastel in this video's description, just in case you're curious. I really like them. They're on the harder side so you don't get as much dust. Um, I have more colors than I usually do on my palette. A lot of times I'll paint with what I call quote unquote, unquote my primaries. I have Prism Violet. It's really a pretty color. Uh, burnt Umber. I didn't need to put all these out because I'm going to do a purple and white background. Um, and now I'm hesitating. Yeah, I'm going to do purple and white. Uh, blue would be per pretty, but I don't have a blue out. Uh, burnt Umber. These are all Liquitex. Um, cadmium Orange Hue. It's just about gone. Cad yellow. I've been, um, since this is post pandemic, but during the pandemic, I ended up buying more basics and I really like them. They're nice and heavily pigmented. Their website says that they're not as pigmented, heavily pigmented as the heavy body, but I really can't tell. Of course, the heavy body is thicker. Um, let's see, hooker's green. I realized I needed a green for the stem. And then titanium white. Where's my titanium white? I have it both in a heavy body and in a jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a bigger brush or medium brush, I guess, since it's a little this is a little four inch by four inch canvas from US Art Supply. I have a link to their Amazon store, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, in this video's description. I have it in gosh, at least half of my video's descriptions. Just in case you're curious. I really like them because they're 100 percent cotton acid-free archival quality. I've drilled a couple holes in it. Um, I'll, I've linked that in this video's description. I'm gonna, <clears throat> so sorry guys. Um, oh, I think that helped. I have a video about how to wire these. Um, I, I call them ornaments, even though they're all, I, I make them all year round. Here's one I've already painted. It has a blue background. Isn't that fun? And then I painted this a year ago a little bit differently, and I'll link that video in this video's description. Okay, so I'll link how to wire these, and then I'll link the other sunflower I painted last year. I think it was about a year ago. Okay. Um, do I want a bigger brush? It'll go quicker. Let's grab three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. Oh gosh, I think I have that linked. I know I have Princeton. <laughs> you guys can check it out. Check out whatever you want or skip over it. So I'm just getting my brush wet. It's going to be a super simple background. Here, you want to see what the prism violet looks like? Isn't that pretty? I think that's really pretty. Okay, in order to keep this video shorter, all I'm going to do is prism violet and white and back and forth strokes. So I'm going to time lapse it and then I'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, I um, dried it with a hair dryer again. Washed out my brush to give it a little more time to dry. I get away with this better in the winter when it's drier in the house and outside than I do in the summertime. You can use that photo as a traceable, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like I did with this one. Let's see if I can hold it so it's a little closer. So I want the stem here. I could even measure kind of here. Okay, and I was wondering, maybe I could kind of bring down the leaves just a little. 
So if those are about there, then the leaves, and then we have petals. So then I'm going to have like an oval. I don't know if I brought it down any lower. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have petals that come up here. <laughs> I tried. Because I'm going to paint the center first. Oh, this is a, a white charcoal pencil. General's charcoal pencil. Now is that too far over? I'm gonna, well, I'm going to have a big leaf. Goes there. I think we're okay. I might make it... Oh gosh, I'm about right on. I'm a, a smidge bigger. Let's do about right there. And then, so then the center's gonna be actually kind of in there, and then the stem's gonna come like that. Hopefully this is all in frame, and hopefully you can see it. I think we're good to go. Um, I used raw sienna in this one. Um, bright aqua green, phthalo blue, what else? Well, cad yellow. Yeah, I think I mixed the green. I did. I mixed the green with the cad yellow and the bright aqua green, which you can kind of see a little bit here, to make this that green. Okay. I'm going to paint the center because it's pretty much just a brown center and then I'll be back. Let's paint some petals. And I'm gonna, so how do I know what to paint next? Well, the pet here, oh, I was pointing to something you can't see. <laughs> That's not gonna work. So I paint the oval and at least get, you know, the base of it in. This one has a lot more detail than this one, but I can put in more detail later. So that, everything is on top of that. Um, a lot of things are on top of the stem, so I painted, at least got it in. I can adjust it as we go. And then these petals are behind these, I want to call them leaves. I'm pretty sure it's the bud that opens up. So we're going to paint these petals next because these, we'll call them leaves, are in front of the petals. I'm going to use a half inch flat brush from Michaels. Oh, it doesn't even, I've worn the words off of it. It came in a plastic pack of four or five pencils. Let's see, I probably should mix. Should have done this in the time lapse. I put out a little more yellow because I mixed some greens. Um, Hooker's green and yellow makes a really pretty lime green. And then Hooker's green, I just put in some purple and brown and some yellow just to make a dark but warmer green. Now I'm just putting some white in, in the yellow, just because it'll be convenient. We could mix, you don't have to do that, you could just kind of do like I did here where I mix color right off to the side of the puddles. You can do it any way you like. Okay. But I do think, I'm either going to go white or yellow white. Let's go yellow white. I don't know if it really matters. We, if we do straight up yellow, it'll take longer to cover because it's a, my yellow, maybe not your yellow, but my yellow is a semi-transparent color and it tells you there's a little box that's half full. It's in different languages. 
Or you'll figure it out when you paint it on there. Okay, so I really like, in the reference photo there was this big petal. So I really like that one. I'm going to start with that one. And then about halfway down is where my greens will start coming up and over. I'm, I'm kind of figuring that out. Okay, let's so let's go maybe a little further. We can always cover it up. So you could use a bigger brush. Oop, I'm going to get a little water so it flows a little better. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to work around my phone and my brush handle. Okay, cool. And this one won't turn out the same as this one. I mean, it's already different colors, but it just won't. And then yours won't turn out the same as mine. Actually, I'm going to put some white in here. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I want my I want it to stand out from my other petals so I can see them. And then we'll come back and adjust them. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm actually going to grab some yellow. Okay, let's put in another one. So the sigh was because I must have been holding my breath. <laughs> Actually, this one ended up going behind this one, so it's kind of throwing me a little bit. You can do this with a smaller brush. There. And remember, we're going to have green coming up over these guys. And then I've kind of got a petal that goes this way. So we're looking at the underside of the, these petals. And I'm just switching a value a little bit so I can see them better. Which I already said, I think. And I'm just kind of laying my brush so like it would make a skinny stroke as opposed to a flat stroke. And then I push down so it's, a, so it's chubbier. All right, I'm, I'm kind of just looking where I want to go with it. Okay. And now I'm actually going to keep grabbing yellow. It's going to get more transparent. Did you see how that got transparent? Of course, this has a couple of coats on it already. And I'm going to try and get one. There. So just since it's transparent, it just kind of went right over that petal already. And then I'm going to grab some white and we're going to go more opaque. Just as I, I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself, but the whole point is so I can see my petals because they, they need more coats. All right. I think we want a skinny one. That's pretty tall. That's really skinny. And I'm going to stick some of them into my center. Okay, should we do a, let's kind of do a fat one. Okay, now how high do I want my petals? Oops. Don't grab what I thought. So I don't know if you can see, but I have kind of like a little line there. I wonder if I'm going to want to bring these down a little bit. I think we're okay. All right, so I didn't leave a whole lot of room for the bee on this one, which is fine. I just made a little bee. But what you can do too is give yourself kind of a an outer oval. I think in my other video I, I did a fried egg and a fried egg. Just to kind of give me a stopping point. We can go over it. Okay. Uh, I need to. I need to kind of anchor it. I was gonna hold it up so you could see it better. 
So we're gonna have this one turn and come down. And I think I wanna make it a little chubbier. Okay. Wipe off my brush, I'm gonna grab some yellow. Let's have one curve this way. You can follow that reference photo. I didn't put in every petal. There's like layers and layers and layers of petals in that reference photo. I'm gonna have one. Kind of just like do a straight on petal. So what I would do too, if I wasn't videoing, is I'd hold this in my hand at a better angle. Okay, that gives you, well actually, should we do a couple petals this way, and then I'm gonna time lapse it. You don't need to see every petal. Dive in and give it a try. Give it a try on a piece of paper if you don't wanna, like sometimes I get a little nervous if I have a great big canvas and I spend a lot of money on it. And, um, so I want one that's gonna come, actually after I did that, I'm gonna go for more yellow, more transparent. It's gonna kinda come from here. Well, that's not very transparent. So I'm gonna go kinda sideways and then pull it down. That was kind of messy, but you know what? I think that'll, it's gonna dry um, more transparent. And actually I think that might be a nice petal in the long run. I mean, it was kind of messy. Then we can kind of put one. Sorry, this is really awkward for me. I want to turn it. Well, maybe I'll just see if I can turn it and hold it. Ah. Here. I'm trying to decide. This petal's tricky. Let's look at our reference photo. Oh, I've actually got one that kind of comes out. Maybe I'll do it a little different on this one. Kind of does that. I'm going to grab a little white just so I can see it better. Because I won't get this painting done today and then I'll forget what I was thinking. And then. Oh, I like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to time lapse the rest of these and I'll be back. Hey friends, I just thought I'd pop in. I don't think I've, in time-lapse time, been gone that long. But what's nice is my yellow is semi-transparent. Pretty sure my orange is semi-transparent, it is. The box is half full. So I can glaze over my initial brush strokes and start getting some color down. And it's starting to come to life. Plus, um, yellow and purple are compliments, so that's really fun. And I put a little more detail into the center. And so now I'm just building it up. But I need to build these up before I put in the green leaves. Okay, I'm probably gonna paint a little bit more and then I'm gonna quit for tonight. And I'll be back tomorrow.
Hey friends, what do you think? <laughs> it just makes me happy. So I did a chubby little bee, um, just a ring of yellow and black and black. I've done that before. I like the little, just one coat of paint. You could put matte medium in your paint. You could use uh, mixing white, which I don't talk about very often. I just used titanium white and some water and thinned it down, especially on the dark background because it, it'll take a couple coats for the white to be white if you have it thin. Put some white dots in the flower petals. You know, this is some of the purple showing through, which is fun. Uh, put some orange. I mixed kind of a raw sienna color with the orange and the brown. So that's fun too. And then these shapes you can think kind of triangles, curvy triangles. That one's just an arch and I painted it dark in there. I think that's fun. Um, I like on this one that the background kind of points into the sunflower. Um, this bee on this other one that I painted, <clears throat> there isn't a video for this one. The bee has more stripes, has a white backside, which I like, is doing a nose dive down into the sunflower. Um, I do like the greens in this one better because I have the aqua on there. Here, I'll show you. Bright aqua green is that aqua color. And then it's mixed with some phthalo blue to make it a little darker or some yellow to make it greener. And then as long as I'm chatting, so about two weeks. So as I'm videoing this, we haven't done the live I'm going to show you next. But when this video posts, it'll be probably two weeks back. And we're going to paint this live. And there's a whole nother. That bees and browns. I show the legs more. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I just love it. This makes me happy. The flowers are fun. Okay, guys. And I have other bee videos. Some of you have been painting them and showing them to me in the Facebook group, which is so fun. I'm just glad you guys are having a good time. Um, I think painting can be really relaxing. It takes your mind off of things that are going on in your life. I just love that. My biggest decisions are the shape of the leaf and what color and what value. And I really like that about painting. Super, super appreciate your support. You guys just mean the world to me. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.